So nucleophilic substitution in chemistry, especially around carbonyls, pretty interesting, neat little topic. And it kind of works a little bit like this. We've got a carbon bond and a double bond to oxygen. And oxygen's all like, nom, 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 I want some fucking electrons because I'm a fat fuck. Right? And so it takes its electrons and carbons like gets a bit pissed off because it wants more electrons. So it's left with a positive charge and it's like, help me, what the fuck are you doing stealing all my fucking electrons? I want my electrons back. You know, I'm a self-important cunt, I'm carbon here. And the nuclear file comes along and he says, how, mate, calm your fucking tits for a bit. Here's some fucking electrons for you. And carbon's like, well, much obliged, mate. I'm pretty happy with that. I've now got my four bonds to me. And oxygen, because oxygen's a fucking prick, is like, well, bang then, see if I fucking care. Have your electrons back. And carbon's like, how, mate? I'm on a diet here. I only want eight fucking electrons. I don't want two more from you. And carbon's like, you know, pretty pissed off. But oxygen's like, well, have them anyway. Just, you know, talk to the fucking orbital, you twat. Uh, so carbon wants to get rid of two electrons. So it looks over here and is like, oh, well, you, chloride, fuck off. I don't want you anymore. And chloride's all like, well, fuck you then, because I don't want you either, because I'm pretty happy hanging around here. I'm fucking stable. I can have all the solvent interactions I'd like. You know? So carbon's happy with the nuclear file, double bond to oxygen, everyone's fucking happy, and that's how chemistry works. <laughs>